Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn in all technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Swing Graphical User Interface API, Library Manager. Today we are going to present you a live demonstration on library management system software application named Library Manager which is implemented in Java Swing Graphical User Interface API and JDBC API for Before we get into the demonstration, let's first see what is the design of this application and what are the requirements. Library management system is such an uh, application which can be implemented many ways. Here we are going to present you a very simple offline Windows based application which is going to be in two profile, administrator and library. And uh, administrator will admin and control the access so it has to have some secured access to library privileges to add view and remove library and profiles so this is basically for the management who is going to control all over the library now this particular profile is very important for with respect to the security concerns so we are going to have some keys provided here with the help of which it can, the admin can log in and add or do all the privileges action can, can be taken by them another profile is librarian so this is basically for the library prof, librarian profile where uh, the librarian can have the secured access of course it has their own respective login id and password and has the privileges to add remove issue and return books so this is more for the staff or the library management system now let's take a look at the development so first of all, it's a complete uh, solution of a library management system with respect to the library staff. So we are going to have a very simple offline application. So we need a database. So in the back end, we are going to use Oracle Express Edition 11G. It's a freeware. You can get it from the oracle.com. So all you need to uh, for more information about Oracle SQL Express Edition, uh, please, I would like to refer you for the SQL playlist. You can just go for it and learn about SQL. So what we are going to do in the back end, we are going to create some tables and some sequences which will be auto-generated. So we don't need to manually enter some data for some columns in the table. Some sample insert data just for the testing purpose and all these statements will be written in SQL script. It's very convenient. Now this is all about the backend. Now let's come to the Java where we are going to communicate our backend to frontend and have a user interface in a proper form. So for the connection from backend to frontend to your user interface, we need a Java Database Connectivity API. So we are going to use JDBC Type 4 Pure JDBC Driver. It's very simple. It just needs to have some register and load the driver and uh, provide some credentials of that Oracle uh, user ID and pass admin ID and password. And uh, that's that will be all and then URL and then once it is connected then you can get the information get all the data from the database and it will be communicated to your user interface so first we need to have a JDBC API implemented now as per our design if you see we have administrator and librarian so based on that we need to come up with our classes and the frame will have included some text box and some label and a button where we are going to ask for user id and password admin id and password and once it is entered the button 
then that button will have some action performed implemented method which will check for the id and password using the jdbc api and then once it is done this will go to the home page admin home page where the admin can have their actions listed to perform similarly for the librarian we are going to have a same kind of frame id and password where instead of admin this time it will be library librarian id and password and once it is success it will go to the home page where we can have some buttons for librarian to issue books return books and another feature we have added in the simple library manager application is a view all the list of the books so that will be very simple implemented is in using j table so all we are going to get the values from the table and display it in a table form now others is basically consist of uh, sql scripts the database scripts as we have discussed here in the database part resources some images which will be making it a little more uh, fancy and you can have your own images in that folder now let's take a look at the demonstration this, this is how it will look the library home page where we have the admin login and librarian and this is the once this is uh, success then here you can see the admin home and in the next uh, once you add library or view library view library can be view library can be implemented using jtable so it's very simple you can see here we are just displaying the data from the table in the database so all these communication is happening using jdbc pure java type for jdbc driver and once the connection is established they are getting the values from the database in the jtable form or uh, you can insert the values in the jdbc using these features so basically uh, we have learned jdbc and we have learned the swing graphical user interface both of them help you to come up with a complete solution for any kind of software application just like library manager you can have school manager you can have a, a retail manager where you can add more features like a payment and other stuff and uh, this is what a simple library manager now let's take a look at the demonstration so this is my eclipse ide and this is my library manager application let's start from the library and this is an offline java application so i'm going to run as java application so you see here library login library manager so this is the library home uh, this is what the library manager homepage here you can see the two profiles admin login and librarian login since this particular application is just for the library staff or library management system management uh, system so we are going to have only two profiles let's take a look at the admin login so here you need to give the admin login form so with respect to the admin login if you see here we have given a specific id and password that you can set here which is only being provided to the admin the uh, head of the library so that he can add and uh, do the some highly sensitive and critical actions if you need to take for the library so this is what the id and password i have given here and you need to make sure you are going to have some verification and validation being implemented just in case i wanted to show you this suppose i entered wrong password or id so it will say sorry username or password error this has to be checked at the front end and you can say in the logic or uh, basically in the control section because uh, this is very highly sensitive so it is not in the database it is at the class file being verified if it is the same admin person so you see this is my admin home page home window where i have been provided some privilege action to be taken like add librarian view librarian delete librarian 
or logout. So suppose I wanted to add librarian and I just gave some name tech and the password tech and email for the communication. Address city contact number some random and if I give this librarian added successfully. If you want to view it, you can find out all these tables inside the so this all table is provided. If you see the database. So if you see, there are some tables in my SQL script, books, issue and librarian. If I try to open it, this will show the this complete uh, table. So if you see, if I just choose this one, so you can see the tech one which we have entered is already added. And this is what is showing here. So this is retrieving from the data and displaying in your J table. So this is what the table uh, from the table displaying it in the J table using uh, a, a, a table use uh, displaying in the list of library using J table. Now, if you want to remove any librarian so what you can do all you need to give the id or name id is basically can uh, generate it's in an auto generated mode in the sequence so but just in case make it very simple so we can do what we can just do is uh, removing the data or deleting the data of librarian using name so record deleted successfully if you go back and view the library, this time there will be no Emily here. You see, it is removed. Here is Emily, which is not in the updated list now. So this is removed. Now, when you go to go back, it will go back to the library home page, library manager home page, where you can go back to the librarian. Now here I'm going to log in using my ID and when I logged in this you can add the books give some number and uh, some random numbers let me this is I'm just giving some random number maybe Three. books added successfully if you want to see the books this is what retrieving the data from the view books so if you want to see in the database there is a table named books and i'm just going to give the name from sydney astronomy machine learning and books here this is same you see <clears throat> now view books is done now if you want to see issuing the book so give some book name suppose i gave the one two three one one book student id some other number and the student name give some danny and contact number for security and you can see the message it's mentioned check student id carefully before issuing the book for the verification just for the alert to the librarian book issued so if you see the book issue table now the new student id has added here and uh, with the book and now if you see the view books the number of books quantity has reduced to one because the one book is the student Danny has issued so it has to 
reduce the number of books available in the library. Now, another point, if you see the issue date has mentioned here, which is system date, the day it is issued. Now, if you see the return book option, so you need to give the book, suppose the issued book is your one, two, three, and three, three. So I wanted to update in the table that Mr. Ronnie, the student Ronnie has returned his book. The book call number is one, two, three, and the ID is two, three. Now, in case book return, the number of uh, books for that call number, that means the, if you see the view, the quantity has reduced, uh, quantity has increased by one, <coughs> the student Ronnie has returned the book. And it is, uh, you see, it is not in the issued books now. So this is what the complete, uh, a very basic and simple software application for library staff as a library manager, where they can have two profiles, admin and librarian, and they can perform some privileged actions. And uh, this is a very secure and a very simple and basic software application implemented using Swing Graphical User Interface API and JDPC API. Now, important facts. What you can do in this type of software application is you can add more advanced features like you can have a or search for books from their call number, from their title, from their publisher. You can have return books notifications just in case if somebody is uh, close to the return date they can just have a pop-up message or some notification to be provided or some alert box or uh, j option pane using j option page some message box will be displayed online web server deployment deployment to make it online application and integrated with email features using smtp protocol include chat service, online help text about the hours and hours of operation and address and other details or any other uh, service, you can have it in your application. For source code or any queries, please feel free to contact and email to techranch2019 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting and informative sessions. Let's make coding fun. Thank you.